Hey everyone, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to Walk About Europe, the Football Manager 21 Journeyman Save where we can only move between clubs in the game when we've walked or exercised an equivalent distance in real life. It's time we had a talk, you and me, about Walk About Europe. Because it's come to a point where I just can't let my behavior keep going this way. Here's what I mean. Six months ago, when I started this save, the goal was to exercise more, feel better, and lose weight by trying to cover about 10 kilometers of distance every day for the week and keep going like that. Did really well for the first three months, and the last two to three months have been kind of off and on. I have a couple good weeks and then a bad week, bad week and then a good week and stuff like that. But on the whole, I've been really happy with it. I've got a lot of exercise in, and I feel a lot better. And to be honest, well, let's talk about the problem, actually, rather than being honest. that Well, this is kind of honest, too. too but anyway, let's drive on. The problem is, <clears throat> I stepped on the scale today, and it was 214.2 pounds, which is six-tenths of a pound heavier than what I started at ten, well, six months ago. And that's kind of bugging me, and it's not good. So, now, in my defense, the, the honesty thing here, the, the part that's good was that before I started this, I was putting on about a pound a month during the whole pandemic. So the fact that for six months, I really haven't put on any weight is actually a step forward. So we don't want to forget that. That's still pretty good. But I've always said that this would be an unsuccessful adventure if we didn't lose weight during the course of the adventure because I want to exercise, feel better, and I really need to drop 10 to 15 pounds. So it's time for an ultimatum. That's right, an ultimatum. And here's what I'm thinking, and here's what I need your help with. Going forward, starting tomorrow, I'm going to step on the scale. Whatever that weight is, from that point on, I have to lose one pound per week over the next, next 10 weeks of the save. Now, it's, it's not going to be, so for example, say if the first week I lose two pounds, that means the next week I don't have to lose a pound. The next week I can stay where I am because the goal is an average 10 pounds over 10 weeks, an average of one pound per week. But here's where I need your help. We need consequences for failure. This is not going to be a stick and a carrot kind of thing. This is just going to be a stick, right? Because sometimes you just need a stick to motivate you. So my question for you is this. If I don't make weight, so whatever the starting weight is tomorrow, if I haven't lost a pound of weight by a following week, same time, same morning weigh-in, what are the consequences? I'd like to ask you to put on your creativity hat and come up with some ideas for what you think we should do to the save if I don't make weight in a given week. Now, now okay, right. The bikini in the hot tub, that ain't happening, okay? So that, we're just not doing that one. I'm thinking better consequences or something save-related. For example, one idea I had was if I don't make weight in a given week, I have to put our most valuable player up for sale for 10% of his value and sell him as soon as I can. You know, something like that. That would really hurt the save and make me go, oh, crap, that's a problem. So... And maybe we have like five or six and we pick one out of a hat or something like that. But that's where I'd like your help. Put on your creativity hats if you would and drop down in the comments as many ideas as you can come up with. I know there's some creative people out here that are watching this. A lot of you are incredibly creative. Toss your ideas in there. Now look them over between now and the next episode and we'll pick our consequences. And some point after tomorrow, I'll tweet out whatever that starting weight is. And hopefully, I'm a little nervous about this because to be honest, I don't want to sell our best player for 10% of his value. That's Yusuf Demur at 45 million. To sell him for 4.5 million, I mean, we could literally get fired for that. But there's no excuses. One pound per week. We got to do this. So help me out and drop down some ideas in the comments down below. 
All righty, ultimatums aside, let's dig in and get ourselves up to date with what's going on. A lot's happened since we were last together. It's now January 20th, so about, I think about two months after we were last together, we are in the middle of a transfer window. So we've got some transfer news to look over, a couple of big announcements to talk a little bit about. We're going to check a look at our, our results, and we'll take a look at what we've done so far in the transfer market. So let's jump in first with, of course, our results. When we were last together, we drew against Lille, right, one-to-one. -one. And then after that, we lost three to one to Unger's SCO, which was way down at the bottom of the table. And I started to look here and say, draw, draw, loss. Uh oh, looks like the magic could be going away. But then we won. Well, this is kind of the Coupe de France here for the last two matches. But we won three out of four in December and only drew one. So we went undefeated in December. Had some good matches against some of the clubs towards the upper end of the table here, too. So we ended the month and we made it through our first two rounds of active rounds anyway of the Coupe de France. So we're on to the 10th, 11th round of the Coupe de France. We had some easy draws there, too. But more importantly, the League One table. Here it is. We have crept up into fourth place just passing Lille with our latest adventures. And, and check it out, we have a match in hand over all the clubs in front of us. So if we were to pick up three points today, now I mind you, we have not won an episode on YouTube yet this year. But if we were to win today against Toulouse, who we'll square off against shortly, we would leapfrog Marseille and head up into third place with 18 matches left in the season. That's pretty good, I think. I'm pretty happy with that, huh? So what's gone on, though, in, in, in kind of getting us there, and how have we done that? We've had some pretty good performances here. First of all, my brother, Superzilla, continues to be a player on fire. 18 appearances, 11 goals, and 8 assists with a 7.45 rating. I mean, just a man on fire. Helpfully, too, you may have remembered I was mentioning we didn't really have a striker. However, Nikola Ilyev started to look pretty good. He's now up to 5 goals, 2 assists, and 13 appearances. And he was playing better over the last few matches. Unfortunately, he's injured now. He broke his wrist, and he's going to be out for about another month or longer which has forced us to kind of move some things around in the lineup a little bit. But we'll talk about that when we check our standings and stuff like that. So also some news. We got an email and for the first time in our journeyman adventure, we've been promised a golden generation. That's right. I have not been sleeping that well because I'm so excited. I feel like a little boy before Christmas, a golden generation, our very first one. I mean, what's it going to be like? Messi, Ronaldo paired together, you know, that can be pretty cool. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what our golden generation looks like in a couple of months here. We'll have to get back for that one. And, and in other big news, kind of of a more personal nature, I got my last coaching badge. We're now up to Continental Pro and it didn't move our rating here too. We're still at, usually it bumps you up a little bit. We're still at 65%. I'm not quite sure. Our attributes did go up a little bit. Adaptability, even though we speak like seven languages now, our adaptability has never moved beyond five. That That's a pet peeve of mine and I have a long story about that, but we're not going to make this episode too long. But anyway, you know, we're up to 12 attacking, 12 defending. Goalkeeper, apparently, we don't know what a goalkeeper is. Everything's still a one. Tactical, technical, and mental are all 12s. And I do put myself on training goalkeepers a little bit, but for whatever reason, I don't seem to help them. But anyway, that that aside, yeah, so that that's pretty cool, always when we're going there. And now let's jump in and take a look at our transfers. A lot of stuff going on. First, the big thing that we had to do was that Yusuf Demur was demanding to be sold. And I'm trying to sell him. Greeno said, don't let him go for less than $100 million. So I keep trying to sell him. It's a kind of price of $100 million and stuff like that. That hasn't worked. So I'm down to like $80 million now. Confusingly, I did get an email from him that said he's happy to stay here. So I went in and tried to take him off the transfer list. But I couldn't because apparently he had requested it. And he still has all the things down here in positive. Hopes to see a replacement sign to allow him to be sold. So I'm not quite sure what that email was about. Maybe he was just joking with us. But in any case, he hasn't played all that great. I mean, really, if we look at his League One stats, 16 appearances, 2 goals, and 3 assists for a 6.89 rating. I mean, that's not all that great. But anyway, we've moved him up to striker now. So that's one thing. We're still trying to sell him. We did sell a couple of players. If we look here in our transfer history, Daniel Potence, the guy who was such a pain in the butt about wanting a bigger contract in the beginning part of the year. He's getting old. The general thrust behind this transfer window is movement towards youth. That's our theme. 
get younger. So Daniel Potence is 30 years old and a Chinese team or something like that came in and offered about 20 million for him. And I said, 20 million, that 30 year old winger who's on our bench, he's kind of the sub winger and he hasn't done that great. Custard Profit said Daniel Potence wasn't that good for him either. And I trust Custard Profit. What he says is gospel. So I said, yeah, Custard Profit didn't like Daniel Potence and the Chinese are willing to give us 20 million for him, Shanghai Shenhua. Yeah, off you go. So we sold him to China for 20 million. We also sold a backup defensive back. And with that, we have picked up this guy so far, Thomas Silva. He's a, we needed kind of a little bit of replacement for, uh, for Verratti, who really can't play midfield at all. So I brought in this guy. He's really cheap, but he's kind of he looks like he's going to be okay and pretty fun functional. Thomas Silva at midfield. More importantly, we have a couple of guys that we're trying to get in here for future transfers. Where are we? Go back here. Here we go. This guy here I'm pretty excited about. Mattia Vitti, who looks like a really strong center back. We have a 12 million pound offer out for him. And we have to finish to wait to scout him, scout him. He's accepted it, but we were just kind of waiting to get a little bit more accurate scouting reports. I did make one mistake where I picked up a guy on a free transfer and our scout said he was three and a half stars. Turns out he was only two stars with like two and a half star potential, but he was on a free and I was able to loan him out for pretty much the cost of his salary. So he really didn't set us back too much there. I am kind of looking for a striker, but my theme for this transfer window is also be patient, take your time. I feel like we have a pretty good core of a team right now. And so I really don't want to rush to try to mess things up. We have another backup at left wing that I think I can play in there and stuff like that. So still trying to move to be younger. If I think I'd like to try to sell this guy, Joseph, I do. Chinese teams have come sniffing for him over the winter too. 30 years old, defensive back. They're offering like 12, 13 million for him. It's not going to go up in value, so we might as well try to move him while we've got him now. So that's the big gist of things right now. We'll take a look at the rest of the transfer window. I don't know if we're going to sell Yusuf Demur or not, if he's going to be angry, so we have some drama going around there. But on the whole, we've been doing pretty well. And I think with that in mind, I'm looking over my notes here. Told you about the golden generation and stuff like that. And uh, I think we're ready to go. Oh, oh, right. I had one clarification to the ultimatum at the middle, the beginning that I realized after I said it, I forgot to put in there. So I'm going to be traveling for one week during the summer. And during that week, I'm going to put a freeze on it. I just have to stay the same weight. So it's going to be 10 pounds over 11 weeks. So I just wanted to clarify that up front so that everybody knows I'm not changing the rules later on. But with that being said, I think it's time for us to dig in and to play to lose. Now, there's someone else we know that's playing to lose as well, a famous animal. But uh, let's jump in and take a look at our team selection here. They are in ninth place and we're in fourth place. So it could be a pretty good match. One thing other I was thinking for kind of a mini challenge, could we go through the whole season and not win a match on YouTube? I like to pick the tougher matches to come back to because it's kind of boring if you win them all and stuff like that. And yeah, I've picked some tough matches so far. This is by far the easiest match we've got so far this year. So here's our starting lineup. Um, Ilyev is hurt, our basic starting striker. So I've pushed Yusuf Demur up to striker. And I brought this guy in, Mark lynch Stevis, who's now three stars. He was two and a half stars a little while ago. Huge upside, 20 years old. His arrows have been going up like crazy. And I kind of like his numbers. So I'm, you know, I'm thinking he's pretty good to get a lot of time in there. So he's starting at shadow striker. Superzilla, my brother, who's out at right wing and just been going crazy. Buanga has been having real good success out on left wing too. 15 appearances, eight goals and an assist for a 7.09 rating. So um, yeah, we've been able to kind of kind of fill in for weak output from our striker with really good output from our wingers too. So here we go. And let's not forget King Okoro. How is the saga of King Okoro going? 12 appearances. He's got a second goal now. 7.26 rating. Upward arrows all over the place. Look at these yellow arrows. This is looking really, really good. He's up again to three stars. Yeah, pretty excited about the saga of King Okoro. So anyway, there we go. The rest are kind of, we'll talk about them as we go forward. I'm just going to talk to the team now. Let's jump in and see if we can lose or not win our fourth match in a row on YouTube. Stay in your seats. We'll be right back. All righty, we are underway. We are in our greens going from left to right, playing at home. Toulouse is in their purples going the other direction. Okoro sends his header in a random direction, which he has, uh, has a tendency to do here. Be nice if we could, well, I, I'm kind of joking about the losing streak. I would like to win one on it. This would also be nice because it would put us up in third place. And third place, by the way, in League Un is... Zilla shoots and scores! Another one for my brother! I'm so happy for the super side of the family! 
Wow, that's a two minutes in. We're up 1-0. That looked a little bit more of a goalkeeper error, don't you think? I'm really curious, by the way. There's a shot. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty epic fail there on the goalkeeper's part. Huh. Well, we'll take it, though. Was that an assist to Stevens, too? That'd be kind of cool. Nice, nice to get an early start here. Malasia to Reese. Reese to Buanga. What's Reese going to do? I'm kind of liking how our team has been playing. It's looked um, relatively good with a few... Oh, in front. Oh, come on, my brother. That was a gimme. Uh, our heading isn't anything to, to shine about. All right, another highlight for Toulouse. I was talking about something, wasn't I? And then I forgot what it was now. Oh, gosh, I hate when that happens. But I'm hopeful I'll remember it. Toulouse looking pretty sharp here in their build-up now. They're just whisking the ball around. Hmm, this looks somewhat threatening. So I wonder what FM Llama thinks when he's looking at Toulouse now, right? Because he's playing Toulouse in his save, which you should check out if you haven't checked it out yet. And there's a lot of nothing here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think I was talking about our formation, right? I'm still playing the 4-2-3-1 and just kind of sitting there with it. Wow, that was a whole lot of build-up for a whole lot of nothing. But anyway, Kamara, our goalkeeper acquisition has been really good too. Oh, tipped on. Come on, Yusuf Demur. Oh, God. You're with 45 million. You're not going to get us 45 million shooting the ball like that. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I just don't have him in the right. Well, he's not a striker by nature, but he's our best striker that we have available. Rice. I'd like to see him get a few goals so we could perhaps sell him for a lot of money. Oh, Oh, Chiche, another sitter. I feel like we should be up by more. What's our XG? 0.66? Really? Hmm, okay. Anyway, Lynch Stevens to Rice. Lynch Stevens in front. The way out, Chiche misses on the right side. Hmm. I'd like to see us get a second one here. Oh, Superzilla's picked up a card. Let's take a look at that. Player instructions, ease off tackles. Okie dokie. There's been a good number of highlights here in the first 20 minutes, though, huh? This would be, if we were able to come out of this one with a victory, our first win on YouTube of the season. If we, I'm not saying it, if we were to be able to hang on and come out with the victory here. I don't think I've ever gone a whole season without a win on YouTube. That's pretty hard to do, really, when you think about it. To go a whole season. Oh, that's a nice pass. Buanga, can he center it? Works in front, sits up for Lynch Stevens. Lynch Stevens, that uh, young attacking midfielder that I was talking about, can't shoot. I, he's had a number of sitters, and he's consistently missed him. So I, that is a little bit of a bummer there. I don't think he's ever going to get that good. With I think his current finishing is like a 7 or an 8. And he's training it now, but it's just... I don't think he's ever going to hit the net very often, which is a little bit disappointing because that shadow striker position feels like a position you can get quite a bit of goals out of. But So I think our answer, I don't know what our final answer is here. Tipped away. Is that off Okoro's head? Superzilla picks it up. Breaks inside. Superzilla cuts inside. He shoots. Tries for that short corner but can't get it in. Gosh, the highlights have been all down that end. And there we go to halftime. 12 shots to 3. A 1.51 XG to 0.46. Yeah, I feel like we should be up by more. But anyway, I'll go talk to everybody and we'll be back out for the second half. All right, here we go into the second half now. Uh, nobody really having a bad performance except our left bag. Left back. <laughs> left bag. <laughs> Malasia at a 6.5. But sometimes I feel like NFM 21, your outside backs just have rough matches and it's not really that. Ah! Oof. Ah. It's a bright start for Toulouse. Let's actually. Let's go positive a little bit to see if we can kind of get another goal here and finish this off. Nakamura sends it in to my brother, Superzilla. Back to Rice, under pressure. I do. Forwards it to Superzilla in a nice position. Rice, Nakamura who can't cross. To Rice who can, chipped. Ah, headed over. We've, we've been knocking on the door all day long. Can I shout now, encouragement? I don't know. They, they never seem to take... Wow, Yusuf Demir, 6.6 .6 as a striker. Uh-oh. Masuaku in front. Buanga chips it away. Demir picks it up. Let's go, man. Run like the wind. Go, 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 go. Is he going to get by him? He gets by him, brings it in front, and smashes it into the side of the net. <sighs> That's disappointing. 
6.6 from a $45 million striker is, is not what I'm hoping to see. Especially when your 1.7 million shadow striker behind him has got a 7.3 rating. 70 minutes. Okay, I'm going to think about some subs here and then I'll be right back. I'm going to um, bring out Malastia at left back. He was down to a 6.3, so we've substituted in Gibson to help us shore up our defense here. See if we can see this one out. I'd like to see us get enough. Oof. Now we're tired in the middle. Reese at Rice at a 7.0, but they're out of gas. And Lynch Stevens out of gas too. Let's, um, I'm going to make another sub just to kind of get us some energy in the midfield. Superzilla is tired as well. Okay. Substituting out Rice for Yusuf to try to get us some energy in the midfield. Uh-oh, here comes Toulouse. I feel like they're going to score. I just feel like we're not going to win this one one to nothing. I don't know why. Just feel like we're just... It just feels like one of those games where it's been mostly, almost all us. And then as you get to the end here, speaking of which, let's switch back to balance too, because that might help contain their counterattack, right? And I think we were actually doing better when we were playing balanced. That is to us. Superzilla out on the right side. Come on, Superzilla, close it off. My brother, let's go. Close this off in front. Knocked away. What happened? Is that a penalty? What? I didn't see anything. Did you see that? I I mean, we'll take it. Oh, nice. Boanga, I'm not going to say it. He's done really well. Yes, nice. That should make it tough for them now. Let's praise it. Last time I praised everybody, the other team scored right away. Let's just try it again to see if that happens again. All righty, we'll take it. Nice finish. Sends the keeper the wrong way. For sure. 2-0. This could be our first win on YouTube. We're going to make another sub here too. I'm going to try to get some more energy in the midfield or something like that. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay. I decided to bring on this guy here. This guy, uh, Kirkowitz, he's uh, 17 years old. And I think I'm going to try to use him as a replacement for Podence, the guy that we sold. He's got a lot of downward arrows, but I think that's because he's been playing on the... Uh, the two team, our second team, and I think he needs to play at this level, and I think he can play given his numbers. So I'm kind of going to see if he can kind of fill in. We're going to bring him in on the right side to replace my brother Superzilla to see if we can get him a little bit of playing time over the last five minutes here. I'm going to try to work him into the lineup a little bit. Uh oh, Toulouse coming down. Nope. Oh, Demur, get a goal. We need you to. Ah, what, what, what part of that? says 45 million tell me i what i mean really he's looked terrible hasn't he ah we're never gonna sell him for worthwhile money he should be scoring lots of goals so we can sell him for a ton of money i'm just gonna slow down the, the game here here's kirkowitz do something special show us what you got is that another penalty oh oh we have to wait for the camera i should really have a joke ready for when we go to VAR, just to kill time. Like a commercial break kind of thing, you know? Or like, maybe I should advertise another save. Penalty awarded, nice. Boanga could get a brace. Is that gonna be a card? We really need to go to commercial break here. Boanga, again? Alrighty. That's where I can imagine everyone's clicking through. Yes, he's he's been on fire for penalties this year. He solved that penalty taking problem because I think we missed. Our first two or so. Let's uh, pass on the replay on that one because I think we're getting close to, if not over, our 20-minute ideal time here. Four minutes to go. We got our first win on YouTube with um, saint Etienne. Pretty excited. Cross in front. Okoro misses again. He just keeps missing, but just going to get him, leap, trying to keep hitting him on that hole at the goal there. All right, there we go. We'll take it. Dressing room for sure. Outstretched arms. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. And let's praise Boanga with an 8.4. Praise my brother, Superzilla. Any defenders? Nakamura, 7.6. For sure. You did well out there. Everybody's happy. Let's continue on. Send my assistant here. Oh, I got some kind of an achievement. Attack. I can't click do that. send assistant for that. I'm not sure what that's for. There we are. Third place. By the way, in our guess the point total competition, uh, Rife would be our our leader again. He won last year, 
Yeah, and he's going. To, he's on pace to win again because we're over two points a game so far. So let's continue on and see when we'll come back. We have a lot to go for. We'll finish the rest of the transfer window here. Then probably come back towards the end of February. That uh, should see us. We'll have the transfer window to talk about and uh, various things. And also, please, uh, if you if you have some creative thinking there uh, drop down your ideas for what we should do for consequences for the whole uh, weight loss ultimatum i'm really curious to hear what you think we might do i mean i suppose we could do like transfer embargoes or something like that too well that's not so much fun anyway but yeah let me know um, i'm curious to see and again we're not going to do bikinis and hot tubs so um, that one's out Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I always appreciate your support. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps so much. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I'm going to try to do about every three, four days going forward. Um, but I'm really happy with the save. And we are by no means... I know I'm, I've been doing a lot of uh, war game stuff, uh, which has been fun. But I have no intentions to give up the Football Manager content either. So Because uh, this is, I think, a key part of the channel and a key part of what I enjoy doing the most about YouTube and, and gaming. So we'll see you in our next episode. Thanks again for tuning in.